Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Brand Gun. It is made in 148 scale and it copies DG1000S Glider Aqui, so it's a German two-seater class glider as it's written on the side of the box but this is a fresh release and I have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to take a look together in order to see what is actually supplied here and why this kit will be interesting for you so first of all packaging here is surprisingly big I would say because I would explain it to be smaller for the glider here you can see comparison with my hand we have nice box art which is quite descriptive I would say and on the side we have some safety information here and address of the manufacturer and on the back side you will find the stencils and decals placement guide together with uh, some additional small tips on how to paint this aircraft and here is what I was talking about here we have a small designation of this model so this is a side opening box let's open it all parts packed into the same plastic bag as you can see there is plenty of space that's why I'm a bit surprised but this sprue itself is quite large uh, they decided to mold everything at, on one frame so I guess that's why it was decided to use such big box which is I would say standard format for brain gun kits so this is a receivable plastic bag let's open it and remove what is included here Yay! clear part is not packed into the separate plastic bag that's not cool because it might get scratched so first we are going to start with plastic so here we have parts molded out of white plastic and before we start checking everything together I would like to remind you that we opened the YouTube membership so you can find the join button somewhere here and you will be able to choose out of three tires and one of them gives you free model every month so it's quite interesting in my opinion and of course all this money will be used in order to support our website and YouTube channel especially in during these strange times let's say so here you can see all the parts they fit on the same frame and what is even more interesting is that both sides of wings are molded as a one piece part maybe I will close the lenses so that you can see everything better and fuselage should be assembled out of two halves and this fuselage halves one of them is pre-molded together with tail fin and rudder but I think it's worth zooming in so that you can see all these parts closer so here for example we have this fuselage half Next we go on with cockpit base here and I am not sure if that's yeah that should be the tail seat because here we have one more I guess we will have to check the assembly manual here we go on also with some landing gear parts so they will have to be installed in the middle as far as I can guess and what else here we have another fuselage half External details are quite typical I would say, there is not that many of them because it's a glider obviously and here inside we do not have any guiding pins. So surprise surprise you have to be careful while joining all this stuff together but at least one piece wings should speed up the assembly process and here by the way you can see that rudder will serve as a guiding element so at least something will be helpful while assembling this aircraft together. But molding quality seems to be fine, I mean on all the parts you can notice that there is no flash or any other possible molding damage so that's really cool because it means that at least you won't have to clean the parts or correct them somehow everything is molded as it should be. Okay, next we go on with clear plastic sprue, as you remember I said that it was packed without any plastic bag so I would rather recommend to check it because it is packed together with this white plastic part so it might get scratched easily but molding quality looks really cool and you can see these are two separate pieces so basically you can open the cockpit on your aircraft and as for the masks they are not included into this kit but right at the same time we will publish video review with this thing so let me zoom out so with this 
This is a separately sold mask set, so you will find the video review on our YouTube channel as well. And it will be handy for such canopy, so definitely get it together with a plastic kit because it will speed up the assembly process, make it easier to paint whole model and of course save you some nerves and time. So definitely a good investment of your money. Next we go on with decals. So here we have a small decal sheet with all necessary symbols. As you remember marking guide was printed on the box rear side. And decals look quite nice, so here I don't have anything to complain. We have also some dials in form of decals, so it's just a matter of careful application on the model and you'll be good to go. There is no also mention where it was printed, so I can guess it was printed by Brengan itself, maybe with their partners, who knows. But again, printing quality looks fine. So next we go on with assembly manual. So this one is printed in a typical brand gun format and it means a small brochure in black and white print and you can notice that we have short history note in two languages on the first page. There are some technical specifications. Also we have parts map and note that some parts won't be used so be careful. Use the right ones on your model. And now we are going to check what is actually used for this assembly. So everything starts with the instrument panels as you can see they get assembled for both seaters. So as I said these are two separate let's say bases for the cockpit as you can see with pilot seats and these control sticks and also instrument panels. Next we also continue with landing gear and this is a glider that's why we have landing gear only in the fuselage. As you can see it gets assembled into the special wheel well and then it will be inserted into the fuselage. And as far as I remember fuselage does not feature any prominent guiding elements as you can see so be careful while installing all this stuff I would recommend to try a dry fitment first because otherwise you might end up with really interesting results next we continue with installation of various bulkheads here and there then we join two fuselage halves together just to remind you that only the tail area will serve as a guiding element here so do not hurry with this thing either because it's quite a long fuselage so I would recommend to glue each segment um, in a turn. And next we continue with tail wing and also this landing gear doors. Here you can see the small wheels on the wing tips. So they get installed on both wings. And here we get wings installed on the aircraft. As for the wing, I would recommend to use some metal rod because they will be fixed only with help of this really small tab. I will try to focus the camera. Now you should be able to see. So here we have this small tab and it's quite tricky to fix such a long part on a small piece of plastic. So do not, let's say, uh, waste your time. Try to find the metal rod, get it inside and it will be a bit more sturdy assembly. Here we go on with two assembly options. So you can open the canopy on your aircraft as I said before. And we have some information about Aerocoop Vishkov. As you can see it's a Czech Aerocoop and it might be interesting to see this aircraft on real photos. I can bet that there are more of them and they might be handy for some diorama ideas as well. So this kit should be already available. You can get it on official Brand Gun website and as I said you can buy it already together with this mask set. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!